everyone, welcome with me, Red Gamers, for joining me back on Spansia Lapacho. So, what we're going to do in this stream, or in this episode, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, we're going to basically just try and fertilize this field uh, to our best ability ish, roughly. Should be able to get most of this done to be fair like with what we've got left in the tank but um yeah we want to try and get this done to the best of our ability Okay, so uh, yeah, so this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to probably do our first harvest uh, of a couple of obviously crops. Uh, we'll have to probably speed up time, I would imagine, just so that we can obviously do said harvest. Uh, we do need to maintain a couple of bits of equipment as well. I don't think we need to maintain this equipment though. I think we did that in the last uh, the last stream, if I'm not mistaken should be okay for this one but we should be able to harvest this uh, next next episode which will be good uh, also be able to harvest oh good turn off we also should be able to harvest uh, the field behind us there as well uh, which is I think corn so we should be able to harvest that field as well uh, or should I say straight ahead I think it's corn. Uh, that is also uh, potentially going to be a grass field, uh, which is field eight. Uh, I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, I know field six is definitely a grass field. We've already planted the grass. It's just got to basically grow. So we're just awaiting that to grow uh, at this point. Uh, but yeah, we have planted the grass though. Uh, we do have a lime station at the far end of the farm as well, which I didn't know about until the last. Uh, the last stream so that is quite handy to know because it means we don't have to go to shop and buy lime and everything like that from now on uh, we can just go back to just just about see it over the hill at the top of the screen oh, that's gone now uh, but yeah there's one just on the other side of the farm there which is really good because that should save us a little bit of money i mean money's not really too much of an issue but it should save us a little bit regardless uh, i am going to be getting the I don't know whether to get a mower or uh, or just or just do that bit as well. I'm not sure whether to get a mower or whether we should just um, get the other attachment, the rear attachment for the tractor uh, for when we're doing the fields. Since I'm going to be dedicating that field to mowing feel like we should get a mower if I'm honest since it is going to be designated literally just for doing grass I feel so I feel like we should get a mower um, alternatively we don't have to uh, if we do get a mower obviously we've got this one which is the crone 380,000 which is not too bad the only good thing about it if we go to it it obviously as it cuts it it tethers it for us as well uh, obviously, the only time that it'd be different if we not tether, it windrows it for us as well because it comes out as a line, which obviously makes it a lot easier to start bailing. Uh, alternatively, we could get a. Um, since we're going to be doing silage, we could get a forage harvester. Again, these are even more expensive, but we we could get like the big, with the the header, the lawn, the mower header, and then we just drag a trailer with us. And then fire, obviously, the silage into the trailer. The only thing with this, doing it this way, um, we would most likely need a uh, placeable silo. Uh, alternatively, we could. I was thinking about it. So the biogas plant is only here. So if you go down there, it's only there. And if we go to biogas plant, so that is only 176,000. So I was thinking we could just buy that and then we could potentially use the silos that are there. So you know what? Let's buy it. 
we can sell there anyway now. So if we go to the sell point, go to silage, where, which is this one. Buy a gas plant, 1500 So much better than the barn. So yeah, that is well worth it. Um, so yeah, we should should be good. So I think we might, uh, might do that. Uh, let's visit the gas plant. Let's do a visit. So yeah, so we can use these bunkers uh, instead. So we've got two massive bunkers since we own it now, so we could use them. Uh, obviously this is the pit that we would dump the silage into. Um, but yeah, so we could do that. That means we can transport it potentially by lorry. Uh, the silage, or the grass, should I say, which should be really good. So I think that's what we might do. Uh, if I just, just jump out. So yeah, uh, it might be quite obviously expensive initially, but I think we'll make our money back pretty quickly. So we go for the Chrome Big. Uh, we go for, well, there it says wide. Could go standard. I don't see why we can't go standard. Pipe, we'll go for a long pipe just, just in case, I guess. I don't know. Teleburn, I don't know. Michelin, Midas. They kind of look more. Michelin, see what they're like. The Michelin ones seem fine. And they're no more, no expect more expensive, so. Let's do that. Let's buy that. Let's say, pretty expensive. So we're down to 700,000, just, just shy. Um, so obviously our money is slowly going down. But I think overall, uh, it will be better for us. So obviously we're gonna need uh, the mower head, header, which is this one. I was just having a look at the others. Uh, this one's the mower header. You can obviously get other stuff as well. but So this one's the one we're gonna need. As far as I'm aware, this is the mower. Looks like it. Yep. Yep, looks like it to me. Uh, let's buy that. Okay. And obviously we can use silage and stuff for um, cows and stuff and that like stuff like that as well. Uh, again, we can also get one of these uh, if we wanted to do corn. Again, to turn into silage if we wanted to, um, which we might do in the future. I, th I think we'll keep it like it is for now, but we might might get one of them for the future. Uh, we could turn the corn into silage straight away, to be fair, because we've got a corn field awaiting uh, harvest, but we'll, I think we'll save the money. We'll, we'll do that in the future. For now, we'll just sell the corn for what it is. Uh, we might turn that field into a cotton field, actually, because we can get this, cotton technology. Uh, it's all about trying new stuff, so let's switch to the uh, corn big. There it is. We have a wrapper there as well, which Know, might be uh, might be useless right around about now, but who knows? So if we hop on to you. I wonder if we can tow the wrapper. I might still get a mower because um, we might do more than one field. Can you go into the gallery chance? Nope. Okay, never mind. So we'll head up with this to obviously feel well we put it in the, uh, the hangar for the time being uh, and then yeah we, we have a forage harvester which is very nice so we can use this for uh, silage our trailer is good enough for it and we're just going to hook the trailer onto it to just see uh, where the pipe is so we deploy the pipe the pipe does sit quite high, so it should be okay to go on the trailer. But we'll, uh, I'll have a look now once we uh, get back to the farm. And we'll see exactly where it sits. Right, we're not doing anywhere, so that doesn't need to be on. Okay, that's... Uh, we're doing good. We're doing good. 
We've got future plans for potentially getting a second harvester, but for the time being, obviously, we do not need a second harvester. Because we don't have a big enough farm. As for this, right, let's just go jump out here. Oh, no. Jump into you. Let's uh, drive that off. Just out the way. Uh, there will be perfectly fine. We need to also get sheep. Um, which, again, we could mow with this. So that is quite handy. Because sheep only need grass. So I'm wondering, I'm pretty sure this doesn't, obviously. We need to get a dolly. Um, I just want to see where the... That looks like we'll be fine. If we get a dolly for it. That looks like it'll be perfectly fine. Uh, I'm hoping the dolly will fit on, obviously. But let's head to the shop, grab a dolly, and uh, hopefully everything will work out okay. Okay, let's uh, speed time up a little bit because we don't need it so slow. Luckily, our tractor is really, very really fast, so in comparison to the other tractors, it's a pretty fast tractor. Dollies aren't expensive either, so it should be good. I'm just hoping it put hitches onto it. Uh, if not, then it might be a little bit of a pain. Uh, should. I might need to buy another trailer that is, could be able to hitch onto it, but it should be okay. Hope. Then I might buy another trailer anyway. Just, I don't know, it depends. Right, let's just get a dolly for now because we probably will need it for the future. It's dolly, dolly. Oh, it's really expensive, wheeler. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're down to 650,000. Then, to be fair, we have replaced pretty much all of our equipment when it comes to uh, moving farms. We've replaced everything pretty much with obviously new items. So, it's not the end of the world. Put some lights on as we travel back up. And uh, yeah, it should be good. Uh, also, you hear an alarm on it bell going off that is just my timer because we are on obviously 30 minute videos so that is just my timer so don't worry about that and uh, I'm gonna probably going to go to sleep um, we'll save it for the morning I'll hook on now and then we'll probably go to sleep and then we'll save it for the morning let's see if it works this I hope it does it should technically work we'll see why it won't There, so great. Okay, leave you there. You can also get out of the way. We'll go back. Let's go and get in this. So it does follow the trailer, which is good. Please go on. Are you gone? No, it doesn't. Oh, God. Looks like we're going to have to get another trailer, which, if I go to trailers, I think there's a chrome one. That must be able to hitch onto the crone. Since it's named crone, I imagine that will be able to hitch onto it. That's 56,000 litres. So I'm hoping that can. Um, we'll just buy and sell it if need be. This should be able to, I think. I hope so. Let's type of picture we got up here. Uh, it's just a free one, so. I don't think we have a special forage trailer, do we? I wouldn't have thought so. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. Nope, okay. I have no idea. Does this say what it goes or can? Tipus Australia are used to transport the harvest. See, this can only hold like silage and stuff, so I'm hoping this goes straight onto cover. Yes. It's not very. Not very good cover. I'm not gonna lie. 3,000 for a cover as well. Nope. Alright, let's get that. It's kind of annoying. Let's uh, head back once again to the shop. Really annoying. Uh, but yeah, I've heard uh, head through. There's, there's a gap over here somewhere. Got a bit of overgrown stuff, but yeah, I've got a gap here. Which is ideal. Uh, we should be able to hop on, and hopefully, this hops on to the crow itself. Uh, if it doesn't, then I'm a little bit stumped. But yeah, yeah. I'm not entirely sure what we can do then. It might be a case of just <laughs> selling what we've just bought to um, to get a mower instead, and then we'll just have to wrap everything. But that that's not technically necessarily a bad thing. It just wrapping takes a hell of a lot long, longer to do than the seed, something like this. But we don't need to technically to do wrap everything. We only need to wrap maybe a few bales because we're probably going to get cows at some point I would imagine so we probably only need to wrap a few and then uh, just for the cows and um, all the rest can just get dumped in a trailer and then transported over to the biogas plant to put in the silos so it should be, uh, should be okay there I love how you can see the lights through the, uh, the back of the trailer as well it's kind of a snazzy feature mm -hmm. I can't believe the dolly doesn't go on to the current. Never mind. Like I say, we are going to use the dolly anyway because in the event that the uh, I don't know, in the event that the truck isn't usable for whatever reason, we still need to be able to use something to be able to transport it, uh, all the stuff. So. We jump out there. We will be going to sleep very shortly. Just have to bear with. Right, let's avoid that. Right, hopefully. Not that. Not to that. Does this go on to anything? No. Oh, no. What the hell? Uh, hmm. Loading wagons? Does any of this go onto the crown? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Got a crown there as well. This literally makes no sense at all. How would it pull its own thing then? Do we just mow the grass and just not? Nope. Does not want to hop on. Well, that doesn't make any freaking sense. It literally makes no sense whatsoever. Does it? I don't know. Maybe does it go in the loading wagon? Where is the loading wagon? Over there. Yeah. No idea where the loading wagon is. Is it in there? Yeah, it's inside. This this doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Right, let's uh test this last theory. If it doesn't go on this, then. Uh, I don't know what the point of this is. Nope, does not go on that at all. What the hell? This is completely pointless. What is the point of this machine? 
And we're probably meant to use it with other people, so... You know what? This is ridiculous, so let's not use something ridiculous as this. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's not... Let's basically get rid of it. So I just wasted money, but yeah, sure. We'll get rid of it. Uh, we could do with the extra trailer, though, so that's not really an issue. Uh, you go away as well, I guess. Wasted loads of money there. Just for the sake of waste of money. Mower. Right, we'll get this mower, though. Since we will definitely use this. And then we got the wrapper as well, which is fine. So... Uh, yeah. Let's get that instead. Okay, cool. Right. Um, let's see... Right. Can you... Probably can't, but... Can you tow anything? If not, I'm going to go to sleep and get it in the morning. Nope, can't. Never mind. I didn't think it could, but... I was just saying. Right, let's head over to the house. And we'll take a sleep. And then we'll head back in the morning. Sorry about this episode. It's been a bit disjointed by trying to buy stuff and stuff like that. So It's been a little bit disjointed, though. And I uh, appreciate that. So, let's go for a good nine hours sleep, I guess. Property maintenance, yes, nothing's really that high. Vehicle running costs, again, not, again, not really that high. Nice and sunny day. Let's have a look and see what the crops are. So that's ready to harvest now, which is great. Um, and, don't really know the growth of this because, well, it's, uh, it's grass, so it's hard to tell. could technically have limed that as well but that's not a huge deal so what have we got now we got wheat haven't we yeah so that's fine so we got canola uh no soybeans oats because the horses need more oats we've got grass corn which we're about to start harvesting once i skip to the harvest star Luckily, I've got the header on already. And uh, let's head out. Let's head over there. Um, yeah. We'll go pick the mower up. And uh, we should be good. I think we're coming up to about the half hour bar mark. Round about now. But hopefully we get a little bit done. Uh, in this, <laughs> this episode. I say I apologise for a little bit of disjointedness in this episode. It's, uh, it's been relatively bad on my part. So I do apologise for that. Um, but yeah, we're coming up to the hour mark. Welcome to anyone who is watching us live, by the way. So let's unfold the header. And we should get a relatively good amount of yield from this, I would imagine. Uh, unfold the harvester as well, which would help. Hopefully everything is good enough volume for you as well. So let's head down. Okay, so we cracked the worker on so whilst just while we sort all this crap out again. Um, jump into the truck. I mean ideally you don't really want the truck you like at the roadside I would have said but or going on the fields, but we will use this trailer since it's the only one we have good enough for this job. So, hook on now. It is also the quickest, so, quickest vehicle we do own. So, we'll head that over to the cornfield. Got about five minutes or so left as well of this episode, so, like I say, we haven't got too much longer. Looks like the grass is growing though, which is good. That's what we want to see. I'm just going to leave this truck right about here. And then we're going to nip to the shop. I will bring the, the mower up since uh, we have this one instead. So bring this up and I'll get it set up on field number six, I think it is. And uh, basically just be sitting there waiting for. Uh, waiting to be able to mow the grass. Like I say, we'll just have to... 
either um, bail it all, turn it into silage that way, and then we can sell it at the biogas plant anyway. It doesn't really matter. Uh, alternatively, we can use obviously the, uh, the silo pits, but for now, we'll use the baler and wrap everything. It might take a while to do each bit, but the wrapping does take a relatively long amount of time. But uh, we'll see what we can do on that one. Like I said, I don't really like skipping stuff on this uh, this series since. It is the type of series it is, hence why I do it on stream uh, and not at any other time. So we don't have to skip stuff. That's obviously why I stream it. At the time of videos, obviously, which have been coming on, they are more so for obviously getting more done in a shorter space of time, which is obviously the whole point of them as well. So we'll head that up. And uh, yeah, he should be. Yeah, he is. Is he full? Oh my god. Oh no, is he still moving? Maybe he's still moving. Looks... Looks like he's not moving at all. I think he is. I think he is moving. Okay, cool. There is the grass field. So we could do... We could fertilise it to make it 100. It needs ploughing and needs lime as well. So we could do all of that. And the grass potentially could be a better yield. I don't know if it actually is. It could be though. Um, I don't know. What we could do to find out. Let's grab you. Uh, we could do with filling this up as well. So I'm just going to go over to this station just because it's easier. I know the shop's cheaper, but this is a hell of a lot easier. Fill up with a couple of thousand, doesn't need to, uh, you know, I'll just do a full one. Six thousand for that, that is a hell of a lot, Jesus. But yeah, it's a lot easier than travelling all the way to the shop, if that's the only thing we do. So we'll head this up, we'll get this going in that field as well. Uh, or field six. See if the, I don't know, see if it does yield a better better amount. I have no idea whether it does or not, to be honest. It, it might do. So, cut through here. Uh, get you going on that. Uh, you can start. Just do like an unload whilst it's still moving. Don't want to slow it down too much. Oh, for God's sakes. Way too close. I forget that the boom on this is actually really, really big. Like, surprisingly big. For it, but obviously. For it. It's, uh, yeah. Got corn coming in. Loads of corn, which is nice. I don't know, we should be able to get a relatively decent amount for it, I would imagine. Now, as for you... Just uh, move this dolly. Move that there for now, I guess. And this only holds grass and stuff, I think. So it's kind of a useless trailer. We could just store grass in it and take it to silos here. So now, uh, oh, we could just store it. It's pretty much used for just the forager, really, isn't it? So we may as well just get rid of it. Because it's not actually useful to us. Because it only stores, yeah, grass, silage, wood chippings. But we've got nothing, no way of putting it in it. So it's kind of pointless. So we'll get rid of that as well. Don't need that. Okay. Happy days. Right, let's skip to. I don't know. Uh, we could. In fact, go back to. Where is it? 
exactly back to you. You head over to get the... Oh, there's a timer. Okay, well, that is it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.